I almost burned down my house. And this is the story. So when I first moved into my brand new apartment, I felt like I did something. I felt important. I finally felt like a grown up. So after I stopped sleeping on the couch because of my fear of someone breaking in and murdering my life while I was sleeping and walking around naked just didn't give me the high I used to, there was only one thing left for me to do. Cook. Because I hate pink things with curly tails, I decided I'd cook pork chops. Notice I said try. So I pulled a couple pieces of Charlotte out the refrigerator and got the frying. So I'm cooking and got my mouth all warmed up for some pork chops. But on the side of the pan I see a few little jubilee sparks pop up. I paid no mind. I'm thinking, this is an electric stove. Can't nothing hurt me. Fool! Next thing I know, the stove goes all human torch on me and flames shoot up to the microwave. I may not be the smartest, but I did know I had to get this flaming pan of grease out of the fire. So I used a two finger technique to slide it over into the sink. But doing so only gave the grease the opportunity to climb out and roll onto the burner. That only made the fire more violent and aggressive. Now there's two things I learned in school. One, Girls and teachers hate me, which is pretty much two things. And two, when there's a fire, stand up in an orderly fashion, push your chair in, and go stand by the flagpole. But instead, my don't die senses kicked in and I grabbed the fire extinguisher. Fires are a lot scarier in real life than they are in The Sims. Just so you know. Now even though I've seen it in movies and TV a hundred times, and even had formal training, it's a lot different when you're staring flame princess in the face. So as I fumble to try and get the little red grenade pin out of the fire extinguisher, my cat wanders in like it's num num time. Fool, it ain't num num time, I gotta put this fire out before I end up looking like Fire Marshal Bill. So I get the pin out and let it rip. <laughs> my cat freaks out and leaves me to die. When he turns to run around, he pretty much zoroed my foot, so now I'm sitting there bleeding with half a leg. But I get the fire out, dot dot dot, or so I thought. The fire jumps back up for a second and threatens my family before I put it out again. I look around and notice that my kitchen looks like I just murdered Olaf. Needless to say, I didn't have for chops that night. But all of this got me thinking. One, I should have gotten a dog. And two, when a person's house burns down, they aren't thinking about how they almost died or how they lost everything. They're thinking about how they have to buy all their stuff again. Or is it just me? Because the first thing I thought was, how am I going to carry my TV and my PlayStation 3? So, um, yeah. In third grade, it was this kid named Courtney. She stole like $80 from her aunt's purse and treated the whole class to fruit roll-ups at lunch. Luckily, just a piece of advice. When you're frying pork chops, don't put the lid on because the pressure makes it boil over and try to kill you. You know, unless you're into that kind of thing.